हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे आई ब्रिंग 50 करंट अफेयर्स टॉप सिलेक्टेड एमसीक्यूज फॉर योर एवरी अपकमिंग कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स प्लीज कीप इन टच विथ माय चैनल एंड यू विल गेट एवरीथिंग इन वन क्लिक आई एम आल्सो अपलोडिंग ऑन डेली बेसिस एमसीक्यूज सो प्लीज शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड लाइक माय चैनल ओके लेट अस स्टार्ट आज द क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 आज द डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ नेशनल इन्वेस्टिगेशन एजेंसी एनआईए हु रिसीव्ड द प्रेसिडेंट्स पुलिस मेडल फॉर गैलेंटरी इन द 26 11 अटैक्स हु रिसीव्ड प्रेसिडेंट्स पुलिस मेडल फॉर गैलेंटरी फॉर ऑप्शन सर देयर ऑप्शन ए उगेश चंद्र मोदी ऑप्शन बी कुलदीप सिंह ऑप्शन सी दिनक गुप्ता ऑप्शन डी सदानंद बसंत दत्ते फोर ऑप्शन सर दे आई विल गिव यू 5 सेकंड थिंक योर इन योर माइंड इफ यू आर ओके इफ यू नो द करेक्ट आंसर दैट इज गुड एनफ आई विल से आफ्टर 5 मिनट्स आर 5 सेकंड सॉरी 5 सेकंड द करेक्ट आंसर 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी सदानंद बसंत दत्ते सदानंद बसंत दत्ते इज द करेक्ट आंसर सदानंद बसंत दत्ते रिसीव्ड प्रेसिडेंट्स पुलिस मेडल फॉर गैलेंटरी इन द 26 11 अटैक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर 2 हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ ब्यूरो ऑफ पुलिस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट बीपीआरडी ऑन 27 मार्च 2024 Who has been appointed as the Director General? Four options are there. Option A, Rajesh Kumar Sharma. Option B, Simati Sampath Mina. Option C, Mr. B. S. K. Kamundi. Option D, Balaji Sivastop. Four options are there. So, think your mind. If you are correct, and it is good enough, I will say the correct answer after five seconds. करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए राजेश कुमार शर्मा ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ नेशनल डिजास्टर रिस्पांस फोर्स एनडीआरएफ ऑन 27 मार्च 2024 हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ नेशनल डिजास्टर रिस्पांस फोर्स एनडीआरएफ ऑन 27 मार्च 2024 फॉर ऑप्शन सर देयर ए श्री संजय कुमार बी अतुल करवाल सी शेख एस एन प्रधान ऑप्शन डी पीयूष आनंद फोर ऑप्शन करेक्ट आंसर इज पीयूष आनंद पीयूष आनंद इज द करेक्ट आंसर पीयूष आनंद आज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ ब्यूरो ऑफ पुलिस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट BPRD on 27th March 2024. So option D is the correct answer. Question number four: The tallest volcano, twice the height of a Mount Everest, Olymp Olympus, Mons, is located on what planet of our solar system? Tallest volcano, twice the height of a Mount Everest, Olympus, Mons, is located on what planet of our solar system? Option A, Mars. ऑप्शन बी मर्कुरी ऑप्शन सी वेनस ऑप्शन डी जुपिटर फोर ऑप्शन सर देयर थिंक इन योर माइंड व्हिच इज द करेक्ट आंसर्स करेक्ट आंसर इज मार्स मार्स इज द टॉलेस्ट वोल्कन ट्वाइस द हाइट ऑफ माउंट एवरेस्ट ओलंपियस इज लोकेटेड ऑन मार्स ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 5 इन व्हिच प्लेस ऑफ इंडिया फर्स्ट फेज ए खेलो इंडिया विंटर गेम्स केआईडब्ल्यूजी 2024 आज हेल्ड इन व्हिच प्लेस ऑफ इंडिया सो लेह लद्दाख गुलमार जम्मू एंड कश्मीर उखरुल मणिपुर दिमपुर नागालैंड फोर ऑप्शन सर देयर व्हिच इज द करेक्ट आंसर फर्स्ट फेज ए खेलो इंडिया विंटर गेम्स 2024 आज हेल्ड 
करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए लेह लादाख लेह लादाख इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 व्हाट आर द मास्कोट ऑफ द खेलो इंडिया विंटर गेम्स 2024 हेल्ड इन टू फेजेस इन लादाख एंड जम्मू एंड कश्मीर व्हाट आर द मास्कोट ऑफ खेलो इंडिया विंटर गेम्स 2024 सो फोर ऑप्शन टू इन डोल पोलर बियर ब्लैक पैंथर स्नो लियोपार्ड और ऑप्शन सर दैट व्हिच इज द करेक्ट आंसर खेलो इंडिया विंटर गेम मास्कोट करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी स्नो लियोपार्ड स्नो लियोपार्ड इज द मास्कोट ऑफ द खेलो इंडिया विंटर गेम्स 2024 सो ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 7 What is the mascot of the upcoming 7th North East Youth Festival 2024 symbolizing the essence of the eight eastern states symbolizing the essence of the eight eastern states what is the mascot of the upcoming 7th North East Youth Festival 2024 option A Kashmir stag option B black bear option C parrier leaf monkey ऑप्शन डी हिमालयन टाइगर सो फोर ऑप्शन सर देयर करेक्ट आंसर इज पैरियर लिप मंकी ऑप्शन सी पैरियर लिप मंकी इज द राइट आंसर यू विल गेट ऑल द आंसर ऑफ द अबव क्वेश्चंस एट पेज नंबर 26 ऑल द आंसर्स ऑफ द अबव क्वेश्चन यू विल गेट क्वेश्चन नंबर 8 इन व्हिच प्लेस ऑफ इंडिया द वर्ल्ड्स हाईएस्ट फ्रोजन लेक मैराथन वाज हेल्ड ऑन 20th फेब्रुअरी 2024 इन व्हिच प्लेस ऑफ इंडिया वर्ल्ड्स हाईएस्ट फ्रोजन लेक मैराथन वाज हेल्ड ऑन 20th फेब्रुअरी 2024 ऑप्शन ए गोवा ऑप्शन बी लादा ऑप्शन सी जम्मू एंड कश्मीर ऑप्शन डी सेलम इन व्हिच प्लेस ऑफ इंडिया करेक्ट आंसर इज लादाख लादाख इज द ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 9 हु विल बी द इंडियास टॉर्च बियरर ऑफ द अपकमिंग पेरिस ओलंपिक गेम्स शेड्यूल टू बी हेल्ड फ्रॉम 26 जुलाई टू 11 अगस्त 2024 हु विल बी द इंडियास टॉर्च बियरर ध्वजा बाहक फॉर द अपकमिंग पेरिस Olympic Games scheduled to be held from 26 July 11th August 2024. Raitham Sangwan, Ujjal Malik, Abhinav Bindra, Babuta Uttam. Four options are there. Which is the correct answer? You have to think. Correct answer is Abhinav Bindra. Abhinav Bindra is the right answer. He will be the India's torch bearer for the upcoming Paris Olympic Games scheduled to be held from 26 July to 11th August 2024. So option C is the right answer. Question number 10. Who is the state government has passed bill to prohibit opening or running hookah bars or serving hookah to customers including eating house? Who is the state state government has passed bill to prohibit hookah hookah bars and serving hookah to customers including it, eating houses so four options are there a haryana b bihar c punjab d tamil nadu which state government passed prohibition of hookah correct answer is haryana that is option a ऑप्शन ए हरियाणा इज द राइट आंसर हरियाणा स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हैज पास्ड बिल टू प्रोहिबिट ओपनिंग और रनिंग हुक्का बार्स और सर्विंग हुक्का टू कस्टमर्स इंक्लूडिंग ईटिंग हाउस सो ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 11 व्हिच वन अमंग द फॉलोइंग बिकम द फर्स्ट वुमेन चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ द उत्तराखंड हाई कोर्ट व्हिच वन अमंग द फॉलोइंग बिकम द फर्स्ट वुमेन चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ द उत्तराखंड हाई कोर्ट फोर ऑप्शन सर देयर ए 
जस्टिस ऋतु बाहरी ऑप्शन बी जस्टिस जी रोहिणी ऑप्शन सी जस्टिस मंजुला चिल ऑप्शन डी जस्टिस इंद्र बनार्जी इंद्रा बनार्जी इंदिरा बनार्जी सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए जस्टिस ऋतु बिहारी ऋतु बिहारी इज द राइट आंसर सी बिकेम द फास्ट वुमेन चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ उत्तराखंड हाईकोर्ट सो ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 12 हु इज रशियन कॉस्मोनॉट सेट ए वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड फॉर द मोस्ट टाइम स्पेंट इन स्पेस हु इज रशियन कॉस्मोनॉट फोर ऑप्शन सर देयर ए गेनेडी पाडलिका ऑप्शन बी वोल्डिविर ऑप्शन सी इभाना आनी के वो, के वो, डी ओगले कानो भेको और ऑप्शन सर देयर हु इज द राइट हु इज इज द राइट आंसर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी ओलेगा कानो भेनेको ओलेगा कानो भेनेको इज द राइट आंसर So question number 13 in which district of Uttar Pradesh PM Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone of Sri Kali Dham on 19th February 2024 on 19th February 2024 in which district of Uttar Pradesh our prime minister Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone of Kali Dham option A Devriya option C B Mathura option C Varanasi option D Sambala four places are there four districts are there which districts our prime minister narendra modi laid the foundation stone of kalidham on 19th february 2024 correct answer is option d sambala sambala is the right answer question number 14 as per data released Which state of India received the highest central fund allocation under Jal Jeevan Mission 2024? Which state of India received the highest central fund allocation under Jal Jeevan Mission 2024? So option A Odisha, option B Chhattisgarh, option C Uttar Pradesh, option D Karnataka. Which state of India received the highest central fund allocation? Correct answer is Uttar Pradesh. That is option C. Option C is the right answer. Uttar Pradesh received the highest central fund allocation under Jal Jeevan Mission 2024. Question number 15. Sirla Prabhupada will belong to which sect where PM Narendra Modi participated in a program marking the 150th anniversary in February 2024? Sirla Prabhupada belong to Which sect? Vaishya sect, Sudra sect, Gaudiya sect, Khetriya sect. Which sect? Sri Prabhupada ji belongs. Correct answer is Gaudiya sect. Option C is the right answer. Sri Prabhupada ji belongs to Gaudiya sect. Question number 16. Since inception, which state of India has the highest number of beneficiaries under Nai Manjali scheme? As per the recent data, Nai Manjali scheme is a scheme. Since inception, which state government has the highest number of beneficiaries? So, option A, Maharashtra, option B, Telangana, option C, Uttar Pradesh, option D, Kerala. Which state of India? at the highest number of beneficiary under the nai manjali scheme correct answer is uttar pradesh that is option c is the right answer uttar pradesh has the highest number of beneficiary under nai manjali schemes as per the recent data so question number 17 who is one among the following is the present secretary general of the Bay of Bengal initiative of Bimstick in Dhaka. Which one among the following is the present secretary general of the Bay of Bengal initiative of Bimstick in Dhaka? 
तेंजिल लेखपेली इंद्रमणि पांडे सिंथाली प्रधान सी ऑप्शन डी विकास सील व्हिच वन अमंग द फॉलोइंग द प्रेजेंट सेक्रेटरी जनरल ऑफ द बे ऑफ बंगाल इनिशिएटिव ऑफ डोमेस्टिक डैट इन ढाका करेक्ट आंसर इज इंद्रमणि पांडे इंद्रमणि पांडे डैट इज ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर सो इंद्रमणि पांडे इज द प्रेजेंट सेक्रेटरी जनरल ऑफ द बे ऑफ बंगाल इनिशिएटिव ऑफ डोमेस्टिक इन ढाका क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 हु हैज सेट ए गिनेस वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड फॉर सिंगिंग इन मोर देन 100 लैंग्वेजेस इन ए कंसर्ट इन दुबई हु हैज सेट ए गिनेस वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड फॉर सिंगिंग 100 लैंग्वेजेस सॉन्ग सो सुचेता सतीश ऑप्शन बी नीता मोहन ऑप्शन सी मोनाली ठाकुर ऑप्शन डी कविता कृष्णमूर्ति who has set a guinness world record four options are there correct answer is option a sucheta satish sucheta satish is the right answer sucheta satish has set a guinness world record for singing in more than 100 languages in in a concert in dubai so question number 19 Who has been appointed as the ambassador to the World Trade Organization (WTO) in Geneva? Who has been appointed as the ambassador to the World Trade Organization (WTO) in Geneva? Option A: Manoj Kumar Sunkar. Option B: Sinthal Pradhan C. Option C: Dr. Soumya Kanti Ghosh. Option D: Brajendra Navneet. So four options are there. करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी सिंथाली प्रधान सी ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 20 व्हिच वन अमंग द फॉलोइंग अमंग द फॉलोइंग हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट वुमेन डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ पॉलिसी डीजीपी ऑफ महाराष्ट्र स्टेट गवर्नमेंट व्हिच वन अमंग द फॉलोइंग हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट वुमेन डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ पॉलिसी डीजीपी ऑफ महाराष्ट्र स्टेट गवर्नमेंट व्हिच वन अमंग द फॉलोइंग विमल मेहर बी लेतिका सोरेन ऑप्शन सी कांचन चौधरी ऑप्शन डी रश्मि शुक्ला फोर ऑप्शन आर देयर थिंक योर माइंड व्हिच इज द करेक्ट आंसर सो करेक्ट आंसर इज रश्मि शुक्ला दैट इज ऑप्शन डी ऑप्शन डी इज द राइट आंसर रश्मि शुक्ला इज द राइट आंसर फास्ट वुमेन डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ पॉलिसी ऑफ महाराष्ट्र स्टेट गवर्नमेंट रश्मि शुक्ला क्वेश्चन नंबर 21 हु हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट वुमेन टू होल्ड द रैंक ऑफ सुबेदार आफ्टर प्रमोशन इन द इंडियन आर्मी हु हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट वुमेन टू होल्ड द रैंक ऑफ सुबेदार आफ्टर प्रमोशन इन द इंडियन आर्मी फोर ऑप्शन आर द रश्मि सिंह प्रीति राजक ऑप्शन सी ईशा सिंह ऑप्शन डी सतनाम सिंह साधु फोर ऑप्शन आर देयर थैंक यू योर माइंड करेक्ट आंसर इज प्रीति राजक प्रीति राजक दैट इज ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 22 द जर्नल नेचर सजेस्ट दैट वर्ल्ड टाइम कीपर्स मे हैव टू सबट्रैक्ट डैश सेकंड्स फ्रॉम आवर क्लॉक बिकॉज़ द प्लैनेट is rotating at a slightly faster rate than it is used to journal of nature suggests that world time keepers may have to subtract dash seconds from our clock because the planet is rotating at a slightly faster rate than it is used to so option four options are there five seconds two seconds one seconds seven seconds which is the correct answer okay one Correct answer is one second. One second is the correct answer. Question number twenty-three. According to latest data released in February two thousand twenty-four, which one state has the highest solar potential? According to latest data released in February two thousand twenty-four, which one state has the highest solar potential? 
ऑप्शन ए केरल ऑप्शन बी उत्तर प्रदेश ऑप्शन सी मध्य प्रदेश ऑप्शन डी राजस्थान व्हिच स्टेट हैज द हाईएस्ट सोलर पोटेंशियल करेक्ट आंसर इज राजस्थान दैट इज ऑप्शन डी डी द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 24 इन व्हिच स्टेट हैज द कोस्टल जोन मैनेजमेंट अथॉरिटी रिकमेंडेड ए क्लीयरेंस फॉर भाडभान मेगा पोर्ट व्हिच स्टेट हैज द कोस्टल जोन मैनेजमेंट अथॉरिटी रिकमेंडेड क्लीयरेंस फॉर भाडभान मेगा पोर्ट ऑप्शन ए तेलंगाना ऑप्शन बी महाराष्ट्र ऑप्शन सी ओडिसा ऑप्शन डी कर्नाटक फोर ऑप्शंस आर देयर यू हैव टू थिंक व्हिच इज द करेक्ट आंसर अदरवाइज आई विल से करेक्ट आंसर आफ्टर 5 सेकंड्स करेक्ट आंसर इज महाराष्ट्र दैट इज ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 25 व्हिच स्टेट अनाउंस दैट पंचकर्मा सेंटर्स वुड बी ओपन एवरीवेयर इन फेब्रुअरी 2024 व्हिच स्टेट अनाउंस दैट पंचकर्मा सेंटर्स वुड बी ओपन एवरी वेयर इन फेब्रुअरी 2024 ऑप्शन ए हरियाणा ऑप्शन बी मणिपुर ऑप्शन सी छत्तीसगढ़ ऑप्शन डी कर्नाटक फोर ऑप्शन आर देयर थिंक योर माइंड करेक्ट आंसर इज हरियाणा हरियाणा इज द राइट आंसर दैट इज ऑप्शन ए क्वेश्चन नंबर 26 जी कृष्णा रेड्डी मिनिस्टर ऑफ टूरिज्म लेड द फाउंडेशन स्टोन फॉर इंडियास फर्स्ट डिजिटल नेशनल म्यूजियम ऑफ एपिग्राफी इन व्हिच सिटी ऑफ ऑन 5th फेब्रुअरी 2024 जी कृष्णा रेड्डी मिनिस्टर ऑफ टूरिज्म लेड द फाउंडेशन स्टोन फॉर सिटीज आर देयर ऑप्शन ए कोचि ऑप्शन बी गुरगांव ऑप्शन सी चेन्नई ऑप्शन डी हैदराबाद इन व्हिच सिटी ऑफ इंडिया लेट द फाउंडेशन स्टोन बाय जी कृष्ण रेड्डी मिनिस्टर ऑफ टूरिज्म करेक्ट आंसर इज हैदराबाद दैट इज ऑप्शन डी ऑप्शन डी इज द राइट आंसर सो क्वेश्चन नंबर 27 व्हिच स्टेट विल बी होम टू इंडिया सर लार्जेस्ट हेली हब अकॉर्डिंग टू ए रिसेंट अनाउंसमेंट व्हिच स्टेट विल बी द होम टू इंडिया सर लार्जेस्ट हेली हब ऑप्शन ए हरियाणा ऑप्शन बी गुजरात ऑप्शन सी केरल ऑप्शन डी उत्तराखंड व्हिच स्टेट विल बी द होम टू इंडिया सर लार्जेस्ट हेली हब करेक्ट आंसर इज हरियाणा हरियाणा इज द राइट आंसर दैट इज ऑप्शन ए क्वेश्चन नंबर 28 व्हिच कंट्री डिस्कवर्ड इट्स फर्स्ट डिपॉजिट ऑफ द वैल्यूएबल मिनरल्स कोल्टन रिसेंटली कोल्टन डिस्कवर्ड बाय कोल्टन डिस्कवर्ड बाय व्हिच कंट्री डामास्कस ब्राजील बुल्गारिया केनिया फोर ऑप्शंस आर देयर ऑप्शन ए डामास्कस ऑप्शन बी ब्राजील ऑप्शन सी बुल्गारिया ऑप्शन डी केनिया व्हिच कंट्री डिस्कवर्ड इट्स फर्स्ट डिपॉजिट ऑफ द वैल्यूएबल मिनरल्स कोल्टन रिसेंटली करेक्ट आंसर इज केनिया दैट इज ऑप्शन डी डी इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 29 द यूनियन होम मिनिस्ट्री डिसाइडेड टू स्क्रैप द फ्री मूवमेंट रेजिम with which country union home ministry decided to scrap the free movement regime with which country option a bangladesh option b myanmar option c afghanistan option d pakistan four options are there think your mind which is the right answer so which is the right answer correct answer is option b myanmar Myanmar is the right answer. Union Ho, Union Home Ministry decided to scrap the free movement regime of Myanmar. So, correct answer is Myanmar. That is option B. Question number thirty. What is the name of India's robot astronaut who will fly into space ahead of ISRO's 
ambitious Gogan and mission as announced by the Union Ministry of Space. What is the name of India's robot astronaut? Robot astronaut. Option A, Bhoma Mitra. Option B, Damayanti. Option C, Sangu Mitra. Option D, Kosala. Four options are there. What is the name of India's robot astronaut? Who will fly into space ahead of ISRO's ambitious Gaganayan mission? As announced by the Union Home Ministry of Space. Correct answer is option A, Bhamitra. Option A is the right answer. Isro's robot astronaut named Bhamitra. Question number 31. A human DNA bank is being established by which institution or organization in North India? Human DNA bank. So, AIMS Odisha, AIMS New Delhi, Banaras Hindu University, AIMS Ahmedabad. Four universities are there. So, which university is the correct answer? Correct answer is Banaras Hindu University. Banaras Hindu University is the right answer. That is option C. Question number 32. On the 3rd February 2024, India commissioned its first survey large ship. What is its name? 3rd February 2024, India commissioned its first survey large ship. What is its name? INS Pralaya, INS Sumitra, INS Kadamat, INS Sindhayak, Sandhayak. Four options are there. Which is the correct answer? So, correct answer is INS Sandhayak. Option D is the right answer. Question number 33. According to the New England Journal of Medicine, a woman suffered which disease after, after undergoing hair straightening treatment at a salon? According to the New England Journal of Medicine, that is very, very important questions for women. A woman suffered which disease after undergoing hair straightening treatment at a salon? Lung cancer, brain damage, breast cancer, Kidney damage. Four options. Correct answer is option D. Kidney damage. According to New England Journal of Medicine, a woman suffered kidney disease after undergoing hair straightening treatment at a salon. So, option D is the right answer. Question number 34. In which city of India? Rakhya Mantri Rajanath Singh has unveiled a life-size statue of late General Bipin Rawat on 12 February 2024. In which city of India? Rakhya Mantri Rajanath Singh has unveiled a life-size statue of late General Bipin Rawat on 12 February 2024. Option A, Chennai. Option B, Bhopal. Option C, Hyderabad. Option D, Dehradun. Which city? Rakhya Mantri Rajnath Singh has unveiled a life-size statue of late General Bipin Rawat on 12 February 2024. Correct answer is Dehradun. Dehradun, Rakhya Mantri Rajnath Singh has unveiled a life-size statue of late General Bipin Rawat on 12 February 2024. Question number 35. During 19th of March 2024, which Indian naval ship intercepted ABAI Kambar and forced the pirates to surrender the hijacked fishing vessels? During recent news, during 19th of March 2024, which Indian naval ship intercepted ABAI Kambar and forced the pirates to surrender the hijacked fishing vessels? INS Sumedha, INS Talwar, INS Himagri, INS Sarada. Correct answer is option A, INS Sumedha. INS Sumedha, option A is the right answer. Question number 36. NASA launched its space art observing satellite mission. What does the letter P stand for in space? 
NASA launched its space Earth observing satellite missions. What does the letter P stand for in space? Option A, plankton. Option B, particle. Option C, parallaxia. Option D, penumbra. Four options are there. Correct answer is option A, plankton. Plankton NASA launched its space, space, space plankton, aerosol, cloud, ocean ecosystem. Space full form is plankton, aerosol, cloud, ocean ecosystem. Space stands for. So, P stands for plankton. So, option A is the right answer. Question number 37. In global list, which company of India has ranked the second most valuable IT brand in January 2024? In a global list, which company of India was ranked the second most valuable IT brand in January 2024? Option A, TCS. Option B, Tech Mahindra. Option C, Wipro. Option D, Imposis. Four options are there. Correct answer is A. Option TCS, Tata Consultancy Services, is the right answer. The World Economic Forum, WEF, question number 38. The World Economic Forum, WEF, 2024, that was held in Dobhas in January 2024. What was its theme? What was its theme? The World Economic Forum, WEF 2024, that was held in Dobhas in January 2024. What was its theme? Option A, Gateway to the Future. Option B, New Mission. Option C, Build up a New Art. Option D, Gateway to World. What was its theme? Correct answer is option A, gateway to the future. Gateway to the future was its theme. The World Economic Forum WA 2004 that was held in Dubas was the theme. Its theme was a gateway to the future. Question number 39. In which country Changi Airport is situated, which has been crowned as the world's best airport for the second time? Changi Airport is situate, situated in which country? That was the world's best airport for the second time. How did it? Second time. A. Singapore, B. Mauritius, C. Argentina, D. Belarus. Four options are there. Changi Airport is located in which country? As the world's best airport for the second time. How did it? as the world's best airport for the second time. Correct answer is option A, Singapore. Singapore is the right answer. Changi Airport is situated in Singapore. Question number 40. Who has been nominated as the executive chairperson of NALSA by the Supreme Court of India? Who has been nominated as the executive chairperson of NALSA by the Supreme Court of India? Mr. Justice Sanjeev Khanna, Mr. Justice Arun Pali, Mr. Justice Manon K. Krimisra, Mr. Justice S. K. G. Rahat. Four options are there. Who has been nominated as the executive chairperson of NALSA by the Supreme Court of India? Correct answer is option A, Mr. Justice Sanjeev Khanna. San, Sanjeev Khanna has been nominated as the executive chairperson of NALSA by the Supreme Court of India. That is option A is the right answer. Question number 41. In January 2024, which Indian cricketer became the first male player to participate in 150 T20 international cricket? Which Indian cricketer became the first male player to participate in 150 T20 international cricket. Option A, Rohit Sharma. Option B, Subham Gill. Option C, Babar Ajam. Option D, David Warner. Four options are there. Who is the right answer?
correct answer is Rohit Sharma. That is option A is the right answer. Question number 42. In which place of India, the Adani group is constructing the world's largest single location copper manufacturing plant? In which place of India? So four options are there. Munda in Gujarat. Option B, Jaisalmar, Rajasthan. Option C, Jhoriya, Jharkhand. Option D, Raulukla, Odisha. Which place Adani Group is constructing the world's largest single location copper manufacturing plant? Correct answer is option A, Mundra in Gujarat is the right answer. So question number 43, which country agreed to host a global peace summit in Ukraine in January 2024? Which country agreed to host a global peace summit in Ukraine in January 2024? Option A, South Africa. Option B, Japan. Option C, South Korea. Option D, Switzerland. Which country agreed? Correct answer is Switzerland. Switzerland, that is option D, is the right answer. You will get all the answers of the above questions at point, page number 26. You will get all the answers. Question number 44. Which state of India launched the My School My Pride campaign in January 2024? Which state of India launched the My School My Pride campaign in January 2024? Option A, Rajasthan. Option B, Himachal Pradesh. Option C, Assam. Option D, Meghalaya. Four options are there. Which state of India launched the My School My Pride campaign in January 2024? Correct answer is Himachal Pradesh. That is option B. Option B is the right answer. So question number 45. Which state government has launched the Sri Ram Ramlala Darshan scheme for a pilgrimage to Ajodhya. Which state government has launched the Sri Ramlala Darshan scheme for a pilgrimage to Ajodhya? Option A, Odisha. Option B, Jharkhand. Option C, Chhattisgarh. Option D, Telangana. Which state government has launched the Sri Ramlala Darshan scheme for a pilgrimage to Ajodhya? Correct answer is Chhattisgarh. Chhattisgarh government has launched the Sri Ramlala Darshan scheme for a pilgrimage to Ajodhya. Question number 46. Which one among the tennis players became the oldest ever player to win a Grand Slam title by winning the Australian Open Men's Double Final in February 2024? Which one among the, among the following tennis player became the oldest ever player to win a Grand Slam title by winning the Australian Open Men's Double Final in February 2024? Deandre Peace. Rohan Bopanna, Simon Bole, Boleli, Andrew Babasuri. Four options are there. Which one among the following tennis players became the oldest ever player to win a Grand Slam? Correct answer is B. Option B is the right answer. Rohan Bopanna. Rohan Bopanna is the right answer. Question number 47. Which one among the following has been appointed as the member of the Union Public Service Commission, UPSC, recently? Which one among the following has been appointed as the member of the Union Public Service Commission, UPSC, recently? Seal Vardhan Singh, A.N. Pramod, Rasmi Gobhil, Jagruti Kotecha. Four options are there. Which one? has been appointed as a member of the Union Public Service Commission, UPSC, recently. Correct answer is option A, Silverdhan Singh. Silverdhan Singh is the right answer. Silverdhan Singh has been appointed as a member of the Union Public Service Commission, UPSC, recently.
which former CEO of Rajasthan Royal Sahajbini appointed as the CEO of Indian Olympic Association. Which former CEO of Rajasthan Royal Sahajbini appointed as the CEO of Indian Olympic Association. Raghuram Lair, Kiran Desmukh, Sanjay J. Singh, Rabindra Kumar Tyagi. So four options are there. Correct answer is option A, Raghuram Lair. Raghuram Lair is the right answer. Question number 49. Who is one among the following people's Democratic Party leader, PDP, has become the second term Prime Minister of Bhutan? Lotea Testing, Choigal Dam Redigen, Option C, Sonam Togbae, Option D, Tessering Tabage. Four options are there, which is the right answer. You have to select, think your mind. I will say after 5 seconds. Correct answer is option D. Tessering Togbe. Topge. Option D is the right answer. Question number 50. Which one among the following is the first woman and the first Spaniard appointed as the president of the European Investment Bank on 1st January 2024? Which one among the following is the first woman and the first Spaniard appointed as the president of the European Investment Bank on 1st January 2024? Nadia Calvino, Sue Redfin, Madison Mars, Sucheta Satish. Which one among the following first woman and the first Spaniard appointed as the president of the European Investment Bank on 1st January 2024? Correct answer is option A, Nadia Kalnibhu. Nadia Kalbhino is the right answer. So you will get all the answer of the above question at page number 26. Thank you for watching. Bye.